here I read uh, this poem say for example the word touch touch so touch or uh, when the word touch is used by a Dalit poet and Dalit poet a woman Dalit poet so there are two things in the title so that is how do we derive a context out of the text that is out of this title there is untouchability so we know about a historical context of untouchability and we know about it uh, its its role in nation uh, as a as a debate uh, in nation uh, in the in the idea of nation so the word touch invokes untouchability on one hand on the other hand this also tells us about a woman harassed you know the word touch so you see we here we have two important contexts now let us read the poem have you ever tried meditation have you ever tried meditation the poem begins with this sentence and uh, this is a question now this question has deeper meaning meditation has been considered to be one of the gifts that India has offered to the world and when the word meditation comes then we are reminded of Indian spiritual culture yoga yoga sutra then our culture of Rishi Muni and then how it has been included in the post-modern Indian market okay where yoga is a file available on YouTube and uh, it has millions of views so you see look at this the context can be derived from this uh, very line okay the the question is not of paraphrasing let me just make it clear I'm not I won't say that this is what the poet wants to say now if I say this is what the poet wants to say then I'm essentializing that is I'm just trying to be advocate of the poet and telling you that this is what she intends to or she wants to now we should not get into this kind of paraphrasing or this kind of uh, you know phraseology which damages the very idea of reading poetry so we as independent readers would create our own understanding of the poem not what the poet wants to say we don't know what she wants to say so we can't get into the head of the poet what she or he wants to say so let us reject this very phrase in our examination when we are writing okay this is uh, something more uh, uh, more uh, summary or passbook kind of uh, understanding we'll have our multiple meanings of uh, of the poem and we will explore the possibility of plurality of meaning not of singularity or essentialism so have you ever tried meditation struggling hard to concentrate and keeping your mind as blank as a white washed wall by closing your eyes 
nose, ears, and shutting out every possible thought. So, you see, this is what <clears throat> is required in meditation. The meditation teachers or the culture of meditation and we have now lot of people under X or Y names they teach us how we should behave when we are meditating. So as if meditation is something a bank or a container that you put some ideas and the ideas then will spread inside you and you will feel it like blank and uh, you have no idea your mind has become absolutely calm now you see here she is questioning and at the same time interrogating interrogating this now let's see what is the purpose of doing so keeping your mind as blank as a white washed wall by closing your eyes nose ears and shutting out every possible thought everything and the only failure that ever came the only gross betrayal was from your own skin so the poem begins with a question develops it into an environment but at the same time it takes a turn that okay you have come over you have won your thought you have become a calm and your thoughts are shut your mind is absolutely like a white washed wall white washed wall this also actually you know touch and untouchability so this also has the context of purity purity uh, in Indian social system has been assigned to the upper or higher caste and the lower caste are considered to be impure. So this uh, phrase, under this uh, phrase I read uh, the layer of the uh, purity uh, uh, which is if you, if you touch untouchability, what is the principle, what is the problem with untouchability that people who will touch will be, they will become impure okay so now what is that gross betrayal gross betrayal was from your own skin so from your own skin so skin is now a sense organ color and empirical something which has existence and which is connected to the entire environment it feels the warmth the heat the cold the moisture okay so the poetry grows here and uh, do you still remember how the first distraction arose. So do you still remember when you ever tried meditation how the first distraction arose and you blamed skin as a sinner. So skin, you see uh, this is this needs annotation and uh, 
annotation means that certain phrases require clarification or adding meaning to that context to that do you still remember how the first distraction arose and you blamed skin as a sinner so skin and sin has been close uh, I wouldn't say that it, I cannot say that this is a general phenomenon but there are orthodox or certain philosophies that teach us how to hate our own bodies and particularly they would tell us how this body is is something which is part of the of the decadence or decay or the nature whereas there is something called spirit or atma that is beyond all of these uh, factors so uh, this also this sentence also takes us to the uh, Minyan philosophy I'll let you know more about it but here do you still remember how the first distraction arose and you blamed skin as a sinner how you were when your kundalini was rising now you see the reference is again there kundalini kundalini is uh, uh, Sanskrit term and uh, in meditation or yoga or in tantric yoga particularly there are different kinds of schools hat yoga raj yoga tantric yoga okay and kundali kundalini is more in the kind of uh, yoga where chakra system the body chakras and they are also in the music so i will uh, uh, let you know more about that so the point here is that uh, that one school of yoga which is uh, tantric yoga believes that the power that the the power is at the uh, these are these are chakras here is the chakra where the energy which rises from below will enter here and then this will be uh, the widest spectrum of uh, Sad Chit Anand that is a kind of Anand Anand is beyond from Dukha okay from uh, it's not pleasure it's not happiness according to that school and uh, this is a kind of Chit is a mind which is purified and it is a bliss forever okay so that is here the reference is how when your kundalini was rising shaken you felt the cold concrete floor skin rubbing against skin your saffron robes how even in a far off different realm you see this sentence has even the word saffron robe robes talks about uh, Hindu uh, spiritual tradition.